Hey, I'm Simon. I am very, very excited to shoot this video today because finally we get to install a set of aux carrier on this vine behind me. I want to show you how it's done. You're going to love this. Install bolt carriers starting with the passenger side. Here are some of the tools that you're going to need for this installation. The brackets will be supplied, the bolts, and everything you need. You need a drill with a 3 8 bits, some wrenches, a little ratchet, measuring tape, of course, debring tool, always nice. To install our aux series carriers, you're going to need these two holes here these two holes to bolt the carrier to it. If you need to swap the hinges on your van, we also made a video that explains how to do it. First step is gonna to be to remove the interior panel inside your door. Now, this van is a cargo van, so it doesn't have any interior panel. That's really easy. From above, get a flat blade screwdriver just behind this tab here, and you can move it sideways. So one more time, the screwdriver from the top. All you have to do is to press this little tab here and slide it to the left. Now for the right side carrier, we're gonna to have to drill two holes in the door. So this van has bed liner on it, but I, we want to show you from this body line, two and a quarter, and from here, five inches. From the inside of the door, six and a half, and from this body line, inch and a half. Small drill bit for a pilot hole. Deburring tool, I'm gonna to clean that burr. Maybe you're thinking one day I'm gonna be selling my van. What if I wanna keep my carrier? My back doors are gonna have holes in them. Well, to fix that, it might be just as simple as getting one of these plastic caps and fitting them into a 3-8 holes is really easy. Larger Z-shaped bracket is the one we're gonna be using at the bottom. Install this gasket washer type of thing. So we're gonna peel the back insert the 3-8 bolt. That's gonna be our sandering tool. Good old rust proofing. Large aluminum washer. You don't want this too tight because you still wanna be able to move it because we're gonna line it up with our carrier. Smaller L-shaped bracket is the top bracket. Two plates. This is the bottom, this is the top one. Now pay attention the way the bolt should be inserted. If you're not sure, you can always take this, put the plate inside the hinge to figure which way they go, and then insert your carriage bolt and then you know which direction the carriage bolt goes in the plate. I'm gonna line up my carriage bolt square with the slot on the plate. And close the door and they will stay in place. Stainless bolt with stainless nut could cause problem. It is a soft material and it tends to gum up. And trust me, if that happens, it's gonna ruin your day. So what we do is we put a little bit of that anti-seize paste on the bolt here. At this point, you're gonna need some help. Somebody will have to hold the carrier in place while somebody else is gonna have to thread the nuts in place. To put the hardware in, you might have to open or close the door. Just start by having the hardware snug, not too tight. Make sure it's parallel with the door. And then when you're happy with how it's adjusted, go ahead and tighten everything up. Now it's time for the final torque on the hinges. Now I wanna make sure that every single bolt is tightened, including the one 
that we put through the door. As you've seen, our carrier is attached to the door through the hinges. Two brackets going through the door, but that's not all. With the help of a second person, you want to spread the carrier apart from the door. Use your tool, untread the vibration dampener up until there's pressure on it, and just release it. The idea behind this is that when you close the door, the weight is distributed on three different points. The other part of the video is going to be to show you how to install the driver's side. It's very much the same, except a couple details, the location of the bottom bracket, and also we're going to be removing and relocating license plate lights. Three inches from the edge by three and a quarter from that body line. It's going to be center of the bottom hole. Top is seven by one and a half from that body line. Small drill bit for the pilot hole. Three eighths drill bit. The larger Z-shaped bracket goes at the bottom. The larger aluminum washer will be used behind the door. This bracket should be roughly at a 45 degree angle with the inside of the door. Smaller L-shaped bracket at the top. Washer is onto this side. Now it is the right time to remove your license plate backing. T20 on a drill. We are going to reuse these four screws to seal these holes. Now I'm going to take the wire from this side, feed it into the right side hole. Pull on this wire just a little bit so we have enough length to feed into the carrier. Now that this one is installed and this one is still a little bit loose, I'm going to be measuring the distance between the carrier, make sure they're running parallel. Of course, if you only had one, you want to have this carrier uh, parallel with the, the door. But I really think you should have two. Isn't it? The license plate relocation. From behind here, I'm going to be grabbing these two wires with the lights, careful not to damage the bulbs. If you want to know how much wire you need to be pulling off the back door, if you measure from the lights here to the door, roughly 16 inches. That's very easy to fix. Same idea here, you have somebody to help you spread the carrier away from the door. Now we have pressure on this thing. When we close the door, it's going to be feeling really sturdy. 